What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Frequency Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbie. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is for you on collective reading. Good day, buddy. All signs, past suicide, everybody in between. Nope, it's basic. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Real, real, real. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Hey, come in. Okay, so I received a channeling in, so I'm going to do it. Come on, bad boy. Hope everybody's doing well today. I hope you get out and exercise or enjoy the good weather if you have it. We're at 13,070 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support. I appreciate it. Um, the channel message I received was someone is really banking on someone to go to jail for many series of shame events. Um, they plan on loyal, loyal, I heard Lord, Lord, how do you say that? Loitering? I can see it in my head. Loitering? Lord, Lord, Loitering? Loitering? L-O-I-T-E-R-I-N-G. Loitering? Loitering? Hanging out where you're not supposed to be hanging out, basically. Loitering? L O I T E R I N G. Loitering? Lo lo loitering? How do you say that? Um, they plan on loitering in someone's home, I heard, um, looking for money and expensive items, is what I heard. But I heard through many series of shame events, it's about to seriously backfire on them. You plug in and how it resonates, man. We've got a lot of court energy, a lot of possible jail energy in here right now, and that's just the truth. Whoever this is for and how this applies. Um, I, people think they're going to go to jail or they are going to go to jail or what have you, what have you. But there's also people, of course, you know, you only take the messages that resonate. You psychic intuitive messages. So one may apply, two plus may apply, two may apply. Only you know, you know the story and situation, not anybody else. So, or you just might enjoy listening to the readings, how that resonates. But however that resonates, there's a lot of possible jail energy in here, I should say. Um, and there's people knowing people might go to jail too so it's not only the people thinking they might go to jail or knowing they might go to jail it's the people casing the situations of the people that might go to jail um, so much so we've got people stalking and lurking and hoping people go to jail I heard so they can loiter so go break basically break into their home. Break into their home. They were not authorized to be on the property, but they're gonna yet they're gonna peruse or want to peruse themselves onto somebody's property because this hasn't happened yet. None of this has happened yet, it sounds like. They want to peruse themselves onto somebody's property to basically break into their home because it was no consent, no authorization, because they know this person. Um, if this person ends up in jail, if you end up in jail or somebody you're connected to ends up in jail. This person basically wants to just come right up in your space, right up in your space, acting like they just own your home, own your uh, property, when they had no consent, no authorization, no nothing, 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 uh-uh, because you'll be sitting up in jail. I heard you look for expensive items and for money. Come on, this way. Come on. Thank you. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's some pretty shysty crap. Really shysty, if I've ever heard. I heard through many series of chain events, it's going to backfire on them, though. So, I think, whoever you are, if you end up in jail, I didn't hear if you were or wasn't. I think you think you might, or there's a chance you might, how that resonates. But, how that resonates, I know you didn't, you obviously did not give this person consent or authorization to say, yeah, sure. Go steal whatever you want out of my home. So I think you're about to take precautions. That's exactly what I think. That's exactly what I think. And good for you. Share messages to your <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Community. Upright. Thief reverse. Yeah, I heard for many series of chain events, it's going to backfire. I think your community is going to get involved. Um, hopefully they um, call the police on their ass. I mean, if you if you do end up in jail, 
Um, it sounds like there's a chance you might, um, possibly. But um, if you do end up in jail, it looks like maybe the community will help stop the thieves. This is some serious sick shit right here. Number 39 or 24 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 39 or 24 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 39 or 24. Community upright, thief reversed. These people have another thing coming. If they attempt this, someone they never would have expected to call the police will call this, this time. They wouldn't have in the past, but they will now. Oh my Lord, I heard these people have another thing coming. Um, someone, if this happens, if this happens, I heard. So, because you haven't ended up in jail yet, whoever you are. You haven't ended up in jail yet, but I think you know there's a possibility you might, possibly. Um, but, um, how, or you know you're about to go to jail, however that resonates, um, however that resonates. I heard jail, I didn't hear prison, so, I mean, just, that's good. But however that resonates, um, I heard, if they attempt, so if you end up in jail, if you do, um, and th the thief or thieves attempt to um, enter on your property without consent or authorization, and go and just peruse up in your home and basically feel feel like they have free reign just to take whatever the hell they want as the thief energy. Um, basically, um, someone they never would have expected to call the police will call the police. Um, and their ass will end up in jail. And it will be very bad for them. Okay, I heard in their ass will end up in jail and it will be very bad for them. So, they will end up in jail and it will be very bad for them. So, but I heard they would have never called in the past. Whoever this is that will, I heard they will step, in, step up and call. Somebody in your community, I'm feeling. Or somebody I feel like to be a neighbor or a community watch person or something of that nature. Um, whoever this is. But I heard they would have never thought about calling the police in the past. But their energy has changed or is changing. Um... And it sounds like they will. They will stand up now. It sounds like they wouldn't have stood up for you in the past, but they will now. Which is good. If it comes to this, if it comes to this, this hasn't happened yet, okay? This resonates. Um, and I heard they will end up in jail. So if you're in jail, they'll end up in jail too for trying to steal from you. So that's pretty freaking ironic. Um, in one of these situations, it is an officer of the law that's thinking about doing this. Dirty cop. Oh my God. In one of these situations, it's an officer of the law, dirty cop that's that's contemplating doing this. So there's at least two situations in the universe. In one of the situations, it's a dirty cop contemplating. Breaks the, basically breaking up into your home, taking whatever the fuck they want to take because they know your ass going to be in jail. Um, but I heard somebody's gonna, somebody will call. Somebody will call. So just know if you are in this situation and you feel you're about to end up in jail or you know you're about to end up in jail, somebody will call. They would have never expected, they would have never thought about calling the police in the past, basically. But I heard they will this time. And I think it's a member of your community. Possibly, I'm thinking a neighbor or community watch member or a member of your community in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard they would have never done it for you in the past, basically. They wouldn't have done it for you in the past, but they will now. Um, if it comes to this, so it's going to actually be thief reverse. They're going to help prevent this because I heard they, um, they would be looking for expensive items and money, but they know you will be in jail. Then one of these situations, it's a dirty cop contemplating doing this. And the dirty cop obviously knows if you end up in jail, they'll know you were in jail. We have imprisonment under this number 29 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 29 imprisonment. They will definitely end up in jail. And it will be a lot worse for them than it will be for you. Know this. They will definitely end up in jail and it will be a lot worse for them than it will be for you. Know this. So if they, if you end up in jail, because you haven't ended up in jail yet, whoever you are, 
And if they make the free willing choice to basically tread up on your property without your consent or authorization, knowing you're in jail, basically taking advantage, taking advantage of the situation. Somebody in your community, I'm feeling. And kudos, to, if you're this person, if this happens, you guys, and y'all are in this situation, and you're this person, the neighbor or community member or community watch member or something, uh, kudos to you, sir or ma'am, if you are placed in this situation. Because uh, none of this has happened yet, I just want to say. Um, kudos to you, sir or ma'am, if you are this end up being this individual that calls the police on, um, and you know your neighbor or community member or something is in jail. Um, and somebody is breaking into their home strictly to um, rob them, basically. So that's what this is, is robbery um, or attempted robbery and premeditation, definite premeditation interview here. So in one of these situations, it's a dirty cop. And I'm sure it'll be an off-duty. I'm sure this cop will, masculine or feminine, it'll be off-duty, officer. I'm pretty, well, I don't know if it will or won't be. I don't know. I didn't hear that part. But that's pretty, that's pretty sick. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, we're done. All right, love you guys. Namaste.